Hello again everyone, today, my husband and I share our journey from Kilimanjaro. The highest mountain in Tanzania Africa. Before we proceed, kindly help us grow our channel by subscribing, commenting, and hitting the like button. It means the world to us and we can continue to provide you with the best amazing places we visited. Climbing Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Tanzania was an adventure I had eagerly anticipated for months. To prepare, we hiked mountains in the Philippines and Malaysia, hoping to build our stamina. However, nothing could have truly prepared me for the challenges ahead. Our journey began with a suggestion from my tour guide to take a Diamox tablet to prevent altitude sickness. I took the tablet as recommended, but my husband didn't. Soon after we started our hike, I felt unusually tired. Each morning, my body was already exhausted, and as we ascended, I found myself increasingly breathless. The five-day hike was grueling. Even after a night's rest, waking up in the tent felt like a monumental task. My body was heavy, and I was constantly fighting nausea, unable to keep any food down. I carried a backpack filled with water and energy bars, but the thought of eating those bars never crossed my mind. Reaching Stella's Point, the lowest of the three peaks of Kilimanjaro. The last night of getting good rest before ascending the Uhuru Peak was a significant milestone. But I remember little of it as I passed out from sheer exhaustion and cold. Despite my efforts to stay hydrated, my condition worsened. It was clear I was suffering from severe altitude sickness. Reflecting on it now, I wonder if I had an adverse reaction to the Diamox tablet, as my body seemed to reject it completely. We began our ascent towards Gilman's Point at around 2 am. It was pitch dark, but the few hours of rest at Stella Point helped. As I walked on the sandy path, every step felt like I was sliding back down rather than making progress upward. Darn it. I heard people near me singing a song, the local guides were singing happy songs under the starry sky. It was super cold for me, it was the month of September in 2016. The unwavering support of my husband and our tour guide was the only reason I made it to Uhuru Peak, the highest point in Tanzania. We barely stayed for 10 minutes before my husband urged the tour leader to arrange an emergency descent. My husband suggested having a helicopter or pickup vehicle where they could reach us at the nearest possible location as we descended. As we descended to the nearest pickup point, I realized I wasn't alone in my struggle. Several other hikers were also waiting for emergency assistance. Despite the urgency, we had to wait another day before the vehicle arrived. I was fortunate to be the last person allowed in the vehicle, as space was limited. A local man with an old rustic rifle ensured that no one else could join. We drove into the darkness on a bumpy road, and I have little memory of the journey. The next thing I remember is waking up in a hospital bed. Embrace the journey, for in every step of travel and adventure, we find the strength to overcome life's greatest challenges. It's not about reaching the peak but discovering the resilience within ourselves along the way. Back at the hotel, I recovered quickly and rejoined the other hikers, relieved and thankful to have survived the ordeal. My husband returned two days later, and we shared our experiences. Since my Kilimanjaro adventure, I've noticed that hiking above 3,500 meters leaves me breathless. Perhaps it's due to age, but I suspect my encounter with severe altitude sickness has left a lasting impact. Climbing Kilimanjaro was a humbling experience. Despite the meticulous preparation and precautions, nature had its own plans. This adventure taught me the importance of listening to my body and respecting its limits. While I may never conquer such heights again, the memories and lessons from Kilimanjaro will remain with me forever. If you ever plan to climb or hike Kilimanjaro, be prepared and be in the best of health. Good luck and have fun. After all, like is an adventure not to be missed. Thank you for watching and see you for the next video.